Davi here, and today we have a new episode in the Art of Davi. Oh shit, um, Art Review <laughs> series, and I was gonna say podcast, but fuck. Today we'll be checking out the work of uh, Eugeny, it's a V, Yuri Chev, uh, based in Russia. Interesting character designs here. That's kind of the guy's focus, I think. Not I think, it is. But what's interesting is that it's very straight or if you look at the the line work there's hardly any curves involved and it contributes to, to that graphical look i guess and not many people do this it's harder i guess to do this usually because if you make it too straight it can make your artwork look too solid or too sharp and that's not always a good thing but i think this guy was able to pull it off like you can suggest curves and form like smooth curves even with really straight lines i mean look at this venom guy <laughs> and i like it because it sometimes it's just funny to look at and you can see like the the playfulness in the work and it's fun you know oh, i think this is a uh, i forgot his name the guy's name uh the guy who's brock is it brock I think it starts with the B or something. Who knows? But look at how everything is just straight. Even the silhouette itself is just a bunch of straight jaggedy lines. And even within that silhouette, everything else is like you can't even find a curvy line, you know? But even if it's limited to that, it still looks kind of cool, right? Um, even the anatomy doesn't have to be that accurate. It just has to kind of... Um, makes sense mostly and uh, you can get away with a lot by just focusing more on, uh, like it's mostly about i guess the the stories even if the characters are not even moving as much like there aren't there there's hardly a um an environment in the background everything is just white or black for the most part or just the color or a plain um gradient but it still looks fun and I do like how there's some creativity with the, with some of the posts here, making use of that square by uh, one by one ratio or square view. You see this a lot with Instagram artists as well, where they, they play with this. For example, we have Pepper Potts here from the, like uh, Iron Man's babe or secretary wife. So that's two posts, but obviously you would have to do this in Photoshop or whatever your program is and then split it make sure it's by 2000 by i uh, say 1000 and then you just have to crop it well and export that but i do like the the uh, the creativity um, although whenever you make a new post you will end up with something like this where it's uh kind of in both extreme ends so you have to like if you have a lot of these eventually something is going to match up and it's going to look cool anyway um, and people will get it like, like this guy belongs here you know like this is one piece just split into two posts um here we have john wick oh shit i think it's the the cyberpunk guy this is john wick so lots of fan art here i've noticed characters fan art um and obviously oh i think the style kind of changed a bit like as he progressed it became more um, graphical even more straight lines Wolverine, X-Men, few babes, few guys. I mean, they're mostly facing you. But yeah, so I think that's it. If you're interested and if you're exploring, say, the way you draw things, maybe being smooth isn't your thing. Maybe you need to be more straightforward. <laughs> straightforward. <laughs> kind of like Yuri Chev over here. So let's uh, focus in on Tomb Raider or Lara Croft. Kind of hot. So line work, look at that. It reminds me a bit of my input woe or my input two, my input woe. Um, he does a lot of thick um, pinup style art and his line work looks very similar to this, although he has way more curves than Yuri Chev. Um, Yuri Chev likes to play more with straighter, more graphical lines. I mean, look at that. Line sketch and then color. <laughs> no shit. Does he leave the line? Oh yeah, he does leave the the original line sketch in. Even the line sketch isn't that clean. You know, you can see this part right here. 
in the shoulder. It's not that clean, but it still has... Maybe he wants to keep that same energy from the original sketch. I um, mean, there is an appeal to uh, unfinished, raw, rough line work. I mean, it's not that rough. I mean, you can still get the, the, the gist of it, but... So I, I went to check out the Wolverine guy. I like how the, the hair is simplified. You see this a lot for hairy like arms or chest. Just a dashy line. And I guess quite a few comic book artists also draw this way. And I, I've seen like a manga artist draw with jaggedy lines too, which is very interesting. I'm not sure I forgot the, the name, but the guy does a lot of um, etchy or hentai <laughs> kind of mangas and uh, it's pretty funny. But uh, you don't, if you're struggling with softer, more curvy lines, you don't have to. Um, and you can still pull it off, kind of like Yuri Chev. So I think this guy is a good reference to study. So even even with the line work, you don't, you don't even need color for it. It's already stable and well designed. Now obviously from there, added some flats, some color in the elbows. But everything, there's no shadow, no nothing. Everything is just flat. And then from there, you add the, the shadows. So there's way more values. So in the arms, for example, we have one, two, three, I guess, value changes. So it does make it more 3D. It adds a bit more depth and it makes the character look more full, right? So you don't need much if you're struggling with your drawing skills maybe you need to switch back and forth between curvier lines or straighter lines depending on where you are but um yeah this is this guy is a good reference to definitely study especially if you're trying to work on your more graphical line work more straightforward straighter lines so hopefully this art review helps um check out this guy i will be linking this uh guy's profile in the description below and I'll see you in the next art review. Bye.